Well, hello there, friends. Welcome back. Another exciting adventure in the ongoing flights of November 343 Bravo Whiskey. We are flying from Atlanta, where we took off from about 50 minutes ago. I forgot to start the timer, so I'm guessing, but we'll see how long this flight is in a minute. We're at 15,200 feet, descending to 10,000 feet, as you can see. And where are we going? Well, I'll tell you. Flying to St. Louis. Actually landing at Spirit of St. Louis Airport. Boy, oh boy, has the weather improved. Compared to last night's uh, crazy intense flight into uh, Fulton County Airport in Atlanta. Beautiful, beautiful day. Early evening here in St. Louis. Sunny sky, 63 degrees. Winds are out of the north northeast at 10 miles an hour. Humidity is 26%. It is uh, 7.22 local time, 7.22 p.m., 5.22 out here on the west coast. Sunset's 8.03 p.m., so we're going to be on the ground here with plenty of light to see this beautiful area of the country. Landing on the ILS runway 08 right at Spirit of St. Louis Airport via the Silver One Star. Runway length is 7,485 feet. We'll be exiting left after we land. Already entered the approach course on our heading bug right here. And we're actually, I just noticed, receiving ILS data already, or at least the identifier, ISUS pointing towards the uh, ILS transmission station, transmitter, ISUS, India, Sierra, Uniform, Sierra. That is the ILS identifier for runway 08 at Spirit of St. Louis. So that's good news. 39 miles out, we're 11,800 feet. That's just about damn, perf damn near perfect. Start slowing down now. Get down to 250 before we get to 10,000 feet. Don't want to inadvertently be going too fast. Kind of an interesting approach, though, I think, as I recall. Yeah, look at this. Isn't that crazy? Good grief. Yeah, we'll fly it. It's weird, to put it mildly. But... I did look at the approach plate, and it does have a weird kind of a teardrop approach, so we'll see how that goes. I don't know what to expect, quite frankly, from it. And it's a little unclear to me as to why we need to do it, but we're going to do it. All right, we'll slow to 250. We should expect to further descent instructions here soon. 10,100 feet. Can you give me further set instructions? I didn't miss it, did I? No, I did not. Oh, there it is. Down to 4,000, that's the real whiskey. Very interesting approach. But at least we've got perfect weather. We've got an ILS. I could have used an ILS yesterday, to be honest. What with that drama. The... Frame rates are really disappointing, uh, and it seems clear to me that, for my system anyway, with my Super 2070 Super that I'm flying with, uh, that if you have a graphically challenging scenario, that is uh, light, lots of lighting, clouds, rain, the rain, I think, really did a number on us yesterday. Uh, you, for me, I'm going to have to switch down to high end from Ultra. But I stayed with Ultra on this flight just because um, I don't see a, a, a tremendous number of demands being made on the GPU beyond the normal uh, by this weather. There's no rain. Clouds are scattered. So we'll see if I'm right about that. If we have another PowerPoint presentation, I'll have to reevaluate. But 
My GPU temp got uh, down up to 65 degrees Celsius yesterday. I checked as soon as we finished. As soon as I got out of the sim. Is that 230? So it's going very smoothly so far, however. They want us down to 4,000 feet. And we're descending to 4,000 feet. Four Flight shows us at only 25 miles left on our route, but Four Flight does not have this weird approach. So I believe we're actually a little bit, uh, a little bit further than that. Very strange. They're going to have to go like this, and presumably make a big right turn at this NTB SU Sierra Uniform, and then do it again. I don't know why, but that's what they want us to do, and so that's what we'll do. Is that 220? Landing gear. Landing gear. Hopefully he'll Landing settle down gear. here in a second. There he goes. Coming up over the Mississippi River here. You can see outside. Beautiful. Looks fantastic. Right now, no frame rate problems. Uh, ultra settings, and it looks fantastic. So, if I can fly with ultra, I'd, you know, like to. Airport is off to about our 3 o'clock. Let's see if we can see it. There it is. There it is. All right, we're heading down to 4,000 feet. Boy, the Mississippi looks pretty. What is going on? Hmm. Let me uh, just deal with a couple things here. Hold on, stand by, okay? Uh, I got my hands full. Th this changed. You see what I mean? Changed. So let's uh, let's get to work here. Um, we're gonna slow down. I'm gonna deploy the speed brakes. We got a lot going on here all of a sudden. So bear with me. Um, Shallow out the descent rate because I'm looking at the ILS. We're leveling at 4,000. That's fine. We're going to slow to 170. Lots going on here all of a sudden. So much for that goofy approach. It just disappeared as we were getting closer. Get the landing lights on. We'll re engage the auto throttle. Bring the speed brakes back in. Notch of flaps. Whoops. I apologize. I, I didn't realize I'd already done a notch of flaps. That landing gear alarm started because we went down to two notches, and the landing gear alarm on the longitude comes on automatically. We're going to switch over to APPR. Switch to Nav 1. There we go. Okay. Things are looking a lot better now. And not that they were looking bad. I just thought I was going to have a little more time on this approach than it actually ended up having. So we're turning final right now. We're on base. We're turning final. This looks great. Wow. Airspeed's good. 170. We've got the gear down. Air, uh, airfield's 12 miles out. Lighting looks fantastic on the screens. On the instrument panel. We're going to zoom in here. Come down to 2. And this looks fantastic right here. The CDI lining up. We're going to hit APPR is on the glide slope. Bingo! Just like that. Wasn't that fantastic? Why can't it always be this easy? There's the runway. Oh, boy. Yeah, I'm going to cancel IFR. Go outside, put down the gear, and another notch of flaps. There we go. Look how pretty she is. Okay, let's cancel IFR real quick. Oh. Okay, I guess I don't have to cancel IFR. Down to 2,400, says the real whiskey. They don't apparently seem to know that I'm established on the glide slope. Gears down with set approach speed 145. Runway length of what I say, 7,485 feet. Lined up. There it is. Beautiful. 
And we're on the guide slope. Perfect. Radio altimeter shown as 2,200 feet above ground level. Why isn't it slowing down? Hmm. That's weird. Why isn't it slowing down? All right. Hmm. That's strange. Oh! Why is it 182? What the hell's going on here? Re-engage the auto throttle? Or reconnect it, rather? No. Why are you speeding up? Oh, boy. It's like defaulting to 182. That's weird. Okay. Full flaps. 6.1 nautical miles out. Outer marker indicator. That's that sound. We should have been cleared to land by now, though. That's, that's one thing we're getting a little pushback. I don't know why it's having trouble slowing down, though. 159, 158, 157. Okay, it's, it's coming down now. Yeah, there we go. Coming right over the Mississippi. This looks great. That looks great. Look at the hills. Isn't that pretty? Three mile final one way zero eight right. I don't recall that we ever got landing clearance, but so be it. Alright, auto throttle. Disconnect it. Oh my god, why are our flaps not at full? Holy smokes. Thought I deployed full flaps. Maybe I pushed the wrong button. Landing lights are on. Full flaps. Gears down. This really looks good. Wow, look at the trees. Autopilot. Got red over white on the Vasi. I guess we're going to land without clearance. I don't ever recall ever getting landing clearance. That's weird. Oh well. <laughs> Your speed's good. One. Red over white on the Vasi. We're perfect. Right exactly where we want to be. Altitude wise. Middle marker indicator. Winds are coming from the left, about eight knots, just slightly in front of us. Shadow of the plane, shadow of the plane, looks beautiful. Nice. Alright, welcome to St. Louis. We're 17 miles west of the city, technically, so. 7.34 p.m. We got a high-speed exit here coming up on the left? Yes, we do. Excellent. Great. Oh, and great. Other than I don't ever recall being cleared to land. <laughs> Now, ATC was a little screwy on that one. It just didn't quite add up. There we go. Bingo. Okay, let's go to ground. And taxi to park. Go outside. Spirit ground says the November tree, four tree was oh, my God. Spoilers are in. Flaps retracted. Taxi to General Aviation parking via taxiway Alpha Cessna Tree Brothel Whiskey. No timer to stop since I forgot to start it. Landing lights are off. Taxi lights on, pulse lights off. And let's uh taxi to parking. Wrap this up.
All right, well, that was fine. That was just fine and dandy. Toe break, toe break, toe break. Yowzers. There's our parking. Yeah, the uh, PTC wasn't quite working, and then a couple other weird little anomalies I noticed that I could have sworn I put. I'll watch. I'll rewatch it in the video. I could have sworn I had deployed full flaps. Car. Nah, that's all right. You'll get out of my way. Continue taxi. Okay. Boy, that's kind of a little snug parking, isn't it? Ramp 19. Okay, wow. Um, you're not giving me a lot of room here, guys. Uh, let's see. How can I do this delicately? What is that, a Skyhawk? Oh, my goodness. I do not want to clip it with my wing. Boy, is this the only parking space available? <laughs> Jeez. Oh man, I'm, I'm being really careful. I don't want to clip this airplane. Ah. Okay, we're good. And now, a really big right turn. Keep my winglet away from that Skyhawk. All right, perfect. Whew, man, threaded that needle. Dang. Boy, that, uh, that parking was more stressful than the landing. <laughs> parking brake. Right engine shut down. Let's go outside for a sec. Aww, look how great that looks. Yeah, as I said, 17 miles west. Boy, it doesn't look like they get a lot of biz jets here, but I, I, I did research the airport online, and they do get biz jet uh, service. Just I'm the only big boy here. Non-commercial big boy, anyway. That looks great. Gosh. Look at how pretty. Look at the sunset. 7.39 p.m. Sunset's in about 20 minutes. Beautiful. That was fun. Okay, we're going to kill our remaining lights, kill the pedal static. And we'll uh, drop to the logbook screen. Let's see how long this flight was. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Sometimes it does it, sometimes it doesn't. Maybe because I landed without clearance. There we go. Um, one hour, 12 minutes, 15 seconds. All right. 72 minute flight up from Atlanta to St. Louis. Spirit of St. Louis Airport. Well, anyway, always an adventure in 343 Bravo Whiskey. Thanks again for joining us.